हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन आज फर्स्ट तारीख के मॉर्निंग मेमोरी बेस्ड पेपर देख रहे हैं द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स मैचिंग टाइप स्लेक्ड लाइम कास्टिक सोडा वॉशिंग सोडा डेड बर्न प्लास्टर ये मैच करना है स्लेक्ड लाइम इज नथिंग बट कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड कास्टिक सोडा इज सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड वॉशिंग सोडा इज सोडियम कार्बोनेट 10 H2O and dead burnt plaster is calcium sulfate and hydrous calcium sulfate the sum of oxidation numbers of bromine in per bromic acid and bromic acid is and <coughs> per bromic acid H Br O4 and bromic acid H Br O3 in this ब्रोमिन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर्स कैलकुलेट करना है तो इन पर ब्रोमिक एसिड हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर प्लस वन प्लस एक्स प्लस टू इंटू माइनस टू इंटू फोर इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स वैल्यू विल इज विल बी इक्वल टू सेवन एंड इसमें प्लस वन प्लस एक्स प्लस थ्री इंटू माइनस टू इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इक्वल टू प्लस फाइव Now the total oxidation numbers seven plus five twelve. The blue pigment Prussian blue is an iron complex with the formula. ये Fe three plus को identify करने के लिए ये हम qualitative analysis में ये reaction करते हैं Fe Fe plus three को confirmation में हम पोटेशियम फेरोसाइनाइड सॉल्यूशन ऐड किया तो इट इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू फेरिक फेरोसाइनाइड एंड दिस फेरिक फेरोसाइनाइड में ये प्रेशन ब्लू कलर आएगा सो आंसर एफ ई फोर एफ ई सी एन सिक्स थ्राइस नेक्स्ट द कॉम्प्लेक्स दैट हैज हाईएस्ट क्रिस्टल फ्लीड स्प्लिटिंग एनर्जी इज इसमें डी आर्बिटल्स स्प्लिटिंग ये किस में ज्यादा होगा कौन से लिगैंड के प्रेजेंस में ये स्प्लिटिंग ज्यादा होगा ये पूछा है तो जनरली इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग फील्ड लिगैंड दिस स्प्लिटिंग विल बी मोर सो यहाँ गिवेन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस में सारे आयरन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस है इसमें फ्लोराइड ऑक्सलेट एन एच थ्री एंड सी एन माइनस लिगैंड इनमें आर्डर ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ हम ऑब्जर्व करें एफ माइनस लेस देन ओ एक्स माइनस टू लेस देन एन एच थ्री लेस देन सी एन माइनस फ्रॉम द स्पेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सीरीज नाउ द स्ट्रॉन्ग लिगैंड इज सी एन माइनस सो इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ सी एन माइनस द स्प्लिटिंग विल बी मोर सो आंसर फर्स्ट वन This is from hydrogen. Hydrogen is environmental friendly fuel source of energy. Yes, it is correct. And actually, hydrogen is used in the fuel cells to convert the combustion energy into electrical energy. And that's why it is a good source of energy. And it is environmental friendly because there will be no pollution because hydrogen. when undergoes combustion it will be producing water only and here there will be no pollution so it is environmental friendly now the second statement is reason is atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and it is a lightest element this is also correct but it is not the correct explanation so assertion and reason both are correct but not the correct explanation next for two reversible reactions x gives y plus z and a gives a gives to b kp values are given if degree of dissociation of both reactions is same then ratio of p1 and p2 is here p1 p2 are nothing but equilibrium pressures here in this reaction kp1 we can write in terms of alpha as alpha square upon 
1 minus alpha square into P1, it is the total equilibrium pressure and this is equal to 3. And for the second reaction Kp2, it can be written as in terms of alpha as 4 alpha square upon 1 minus alpha square into P2 equal to 1. Now, if you take this ratio, it is P1 by 4 P2 and it is equal to 3 by 1, P1 by P2 will be equal to 12. <coughs> this is from solutions, 3 molar NaCl solution have density is given 1 gram per milliliter and its molality is, is my molality find karna hai, molarity diya hai 3 molar NaCl solution, is my molality find karna hai. So, ye molality is some x into 10 power minus 2 terms mein batana hai. So, molality and molarity can be related like this, molality equal to molarity into 1000 by 1000 d minus molarity into molar mass of solute. Here molarity is 3 into 1000 into density is here 1 gram per milliliter and molar mass of solute that is NaCl 58.5. So, this on solving you are getting 3.6386 molar. Ab isko hum 10 power minus 2 terms mein likhe, to it can be 363.86 into 10 power minus 2. If you round off, it will be 364 into 10 power minus 2. So, x value is 364. <coughs> average kinetic energy of an ideal gas depends upon, here average kinetic energy means kinetic energy per molecule, it is equal to 3 by 2 kT, here k is Boltzmann's constant and T is temperature. So, average kinetic energy depends on temperature of the gas only. Now, for Mn2O7, Mn has tetrahedral geometry, Mn has octahedral geometry, MnO, Mn bond is present, Mn, Mn bond is present. The correct statements are Mn2O7 structure is like this. Or is me Mn ka hybridization sp3. So, if it is sp3 hybridized here, it has tetrahedral geometry and there is MnO Mn bond, there is no direct Mn Mn bond. So, here in the given statements, which one are correct? Mn has tetrahedral geometry and MnO Mn bond is present, these two statements are correct. <clears throat> Which of the following statements is are correct regarding beryllium? Beryllium, its oxide is purely acidic, that means BeO ke baare mein baat kar rahe. Beryllium oxide is amphoteric in nature, but not purely acidic, it is amphoteric. And its sulphate is soluble in water, yes its sulphate is soluble in water. The solubility of alkaline earth metal sulphates decreases down the group. So, beryllium sulphate and magnesium sulphate are readily soluble and down the group the solubilities of sulphates decreases. Next, it shows anomalous properties with respect to other elements of same group. Yes, correct, it is showing some anomalous properties compared to with other elements of the same group. Its carbonate is thermally stable, no, it is thermally unstable, it decomposes to give beryllium oxide and carbon dioxide. <coughs> it is from electrochemistry, at what pH reduction potential of electrode MnO4 minus 0.1 molar, Mn2 plus 0.001 molar is 1.282 volts. Here, MnO4 minus in acidic medium converts to Mn2 plus and MnO4 minus concentration is given 10 power minus 1 molar and Mn2 plus concentration is given 10 power minus 3 molar and from the Nernest equation, the reduction potential of the electrode equal to standard reduction potential minus 0.059 by n that is number of electrons into log Mn2 plus upon MnO4 minus concentration into 
h plus concentration power 8. Now, if you put the values in reduction potential given a standard reduction potential V given a and number of electrons we know and m n 2 plus concentration 10 power minus 3 molar and m n O 4 minus concentration 10 power minus 1 molar and h plus concentration power 8. Ab isko hum is tarah lik rahe log 10 power minus 3 ye 10 power minus 1 10 power minus 3 cancel ho gaya to 10 power minus 2 ye 10 power minus 2 minus 8 log h plus concentration. Isko hum is tarah likhenge minus 2 plus 8 pH minus of log h plus concentration is pH. So, on solving you will get pH equal to 2.9375 and it is rounded off to 3. So, answer can be equal to 3. Now, this is from kinetics, chemical kinetics. The compound A and B are radioactive with half lives 15 minutes and 5 minutes respectively. Initial concentration of B is 4 times of A, then time at which concentration of A and B becomes equal. Is me initially for A C naught Lirai or T half is 15 minutes. That means A half concentration only ke liye 15 minutes lag rahe. Now 4 C naught a B ka concentration because it is given it is 4 times. Ab isko 5 minutes half life time hai. So, when 4 C naught, 2 C naught vanne ke liye yek half life vanne ga. Another half life time may that means after 10 minutes time it becomes C naught and after another 5 minutes it becomes C naught by 2. So, if you calculate the total time taken for converting these two into equal concentration is 15 minutes. So, it is 15 minutes time after 15 minutes time both A and B becomes equal concentration of both A and B becomes equal. Next this is from atomic structure in cathode rays electron is moving with 1000 meter per second velocity and collide with metal plate then how many of the following statements are correct? Given mass of electron is 9 into 10 power minus 31 kilograms, Planck's constant as 6 into 10 power minus 34 joule second. Now, the first statement characteristics of cathode rays depends on nature of gas. No, these do not depend on nature of the gas. Next, cathode rays travel from cathode to anode. Yes, it is correct. Now, de Broglie wavelength of moving electron is 366.67 nanometers. Let us check. If you calculate the de Broglie wavelength that is h upon m into v. Now, putting the data 6 into 10 power minus 34 upon 9 into 10 power minus 31 into 10 cube, then you are getting 366.67 nanometers. So, the given statement is correct. Now, the fourth statement characteristics of cathode rays depends on metal plate. No, they also do not depend on metal plate. So, <coughs> which statements are correct? B and C only correct. Next, if Fe2 plus C is represented by green color and Fe3 plus C is represented by red, O minus 2 is represented by white the correct lattice of Fe 0.950 is. Is me Fe wo lattice me yek Fe 2 plus miss ho gaya to uski jaga do Fe 2 plus uski charge badaega. That means they if they are missing then two Fe 2 plus ions are converting into Fe 3 plus ions. So, Formula Fe 0.95 वो है, इसमें 0.05 Fe 2 plus ions missing हो गया, तो 0.05 Fe 2 plus ions missing हो गया, तो इसकी double the number Fe 3 plus ions बनेगा, that means 2 into 0.05 
f e 3 plus sin s 1 omega that means 0 0.1. So, if you observe O 2 minus sin s and f e 3 plus sin s and f e 2 plus sin s k baath hum observe karein f e 2 plus sin s are 0 0.85 and f e 3 plus sin s are 0 0.1 and O is 1. Now, for 20 O minus 2 ions, total there will be 17 F E 2 plus ions and 2 F E 3 plus ions. If I am multiplying with 20, then it will be 20 O minus 2 ions and there will be 17 F E 2 plus ions and 2 F E 3 plus ions. Here you have to check in the lattice, in the lattice 20 O minus 2 ions. So, ye white walls 20 honi chahiye and ye red walls 2 honi chahiye, green walls 17 honi chahiye. Is mein ginna padega aapko. So, is mein gin ke humko check karna padega kis mein 22 and 17 hai. So, if you observe in this first one, it will have the 20 oxide ions and 2 Fe plus 3 ions and 17 F E 2 plus ions. This is from chemical bonding. The resonating structures of carbonate ion is given and which one of the following is correct? Carbonate exists as resonance hybrid. Yes, it can exist as resonance hybrid. This is resonance hybrid structure hai carbonate ki. A resonance hybrid structure. So, first statement is correct. All are in dynamic equilibrium, all exist for same time, none of these. Only in the given options, first one is correct. Okay, students, that is it. In this paper, we will meet in the next paper. Thank you.